The star Betelgeuse is so enormous that if you traded it with the sun, it would inundate the orbit of Mars and broaden as far as possible through the asteroid belt. There's no need to alarm. However, at 700 light years, it's the nearest star to the sun that will end its life in a cosmic explosion. Betelgeuse, one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky, has a lovely orange-red variety. It's also known for its changeability, meaning that its splendor can change over time. In reality, Betelgeuse can sometimes become so bright that it rivals even the most brilliant stars overhead, reaching a brightness of nearly 0.0. .0. It has been said that Betelgeuse has exploded, and we are in for an extraordinary, unnerving encounter. However, is this truly evident? Let's investigate the ongoing circumstances of this delightful stellar structure. It is essential to know that the brilliance of a star can change enormously. Take, for example, Rigel and Aldebaran. These are two stars that can have vastly different degrees of brightness. At its most brilliant, Aldebaran can be as bright as Rigel. Yet at its dimmest, it may resemble Aldebaran. This variation in brightness is due to a number of factors, including the star's size, temperature, and distance from Earth. The period in question lasted a little over five years and was characterized by significant difficulties and hardships. Some of the other variations include Bellatrix and Belgia. It's interesting how the same celestial object can have different names and spellings. The origin of the word can be traced back to the Arabic language. According to researchers, the name Betelgeuse is considered the most suitable for the given context. Anyway, as Arabic isn't my area of expertise, I can't provide any further insights regarding this situation. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, roughly 6,425 light years from Earth. Its distance from us makes it one of the most studied and captivating stars in the night sky. The Hipparchos Astrometric Satellite has furnished us with important data about the distances of celestial objects. Based on its data, it has been determined that the distance to this specific object is roughly 430 light years away. This information helps us better understand the vastness of our universe and the staggering distances between celestial bodies. Betelgeuse is only about 10 million years old, while the Sun is 4.6 billion years old. Despite being significantly younger, Betelgeuse is a fully developed star. Indeed, a cosmic explosion a couple of hundred light years from Earth would have devastating repercussions. A truly massive explosion can create light comparable to an entire galaxy. So, if one of our nearby neighbors, like Alpha Centauri, decided to act as such, we couldn't ignore it. It wouldn't matter if it shone as brightly as the moon, because it would wash us in radiation of various types. Since 1604, we have not observed a cosmic explosion in our galaxy. All things considered, in 1987, one erupted in the Large Magellanic Cloud, with effects that could be clearly seen even at a distance of 169,000 light years. In addition, 1.8 cosmic explosion remnants are the remnants left behind when stars detonate as supernovae. This one is a rare collection with a lot of oxygen. However, there was no risk, and it is fortunate that the enormous cloud is so distant. The risk zone around a typical supernova is a fascinating concept to work with. Presently, it would be roughly 100 light years, but as I am a selenographer rather than an astrophysicist, I could have estimated it inaccurately. Alpha Centauri is still close enough, while Betelgeuse would be out of range. In any event, it seems safe to state that Betelgeuse will not explode. This still doesn't answer the most significant question. Has Betelgeuse, in fact, detonated? The red supergiant star that is nearest to Earth is Betelgeuse, and it will ultimately detonate. However, when Betelgeuse began dimming significantly in late 2019, which caused alarm all around the world, some people thought the significant event was going to happen because of the particular dimming of Betelgeuse. Anyway, Betelgeuse has not yet exploded since then. This prominent star in the Orion constellation has fluctuated in brightness, dimming, brightening, and appears to be now changing back to a less active state. However, it is evident that more dimming could happen at any time. The hunter's right shoulder is easily identified since it is marked as the most brilliant star in Orion. 
Betelgeuse transmits a dark red hue and is well positioned for observation in the first few months of each year and night. Notably, it has been determined, after reviewing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and various other observatories, that the dazzling red supergiant star Betelgeuse actually peaked in 2019. Betelgeuse made a huge surface mass ejection, CME, and lost a significant portion of its visible surface. This behavior in a star has until recently never been observed. A coronal mass ejection, CME, which happens frequently on our Sun, is a process where a part of the Sun's tenuous outer atmosphere, the corona, is blown away. However, Betelgeuse ejected 400 times more mass than a normal scene, hence apparently creating a haze of hot gas that the star produced and briefly obscured some of the star's light, causing the odd dimming of Betelgeuse. Although some estimates place it farther away, Betelgeuse might be as close as 724 light years from Earth. Determining the distances of red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is a challenging subject in cosmology. Notwithstanding being far away, Betelgeuse is perhaps one of the brightest stars overhead due to its inherent brightness. It is multiple times brighter than the Sun. Such brightness comes at a cost, as Betelgeuse's enormous energy quickly drains its fuel, hastening the end of its existence. The star will ultimately run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then explode magnificently as a supernova. Betelgeuse will then become incredibly bright for a few weeks or months, perhaps matching the brilliance of the full moon and becoming visible in the daytime. Why Betelgeuse became dimmer in 2019 is a question worth pondering. The star experienced changes in late 2019, becoming significantly dimmer. This apparent brightness went from 0.5 to 1.7. Early in 2020, the red supergiant began to restore its brightness, halting this decline. Some people believe that the star might be set to explode as a consequence of this unexplained event. The VT was used by astronomer Miguel Montoya and his team to determine why this happened with Betelgeuse. They claim there are two explanations for this. The huge convective cells of the star created hot and cold regions on its surface, which was the first explanation. The significant dimming episode was also brought about by a dust cloud that obscured the starlight from our viewpoint. This cloud was also created by Betelgeuse. It is still unclear. Precisely when ball juice will eject, on the other hand, the cosmic explosion blast would be apparent on Earth in any event during the daytime because it is fairly near us in terms of heavenly distance. Luckily, since Earth is more than 500 light years away, this gigantic blast of matter will not have any influence on us. Astrophysicists gauge that for a cosmic explosion to have any effect on Earth, it would need to be around 50 light years away. The red hypergiant VY Canis Majoris showed magnificent diminishing episodes in 2021, very much like Betelgeuse. The explanation for this, according to NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, was like scarab juices blurring, but it was simply occurring on a far larger scale. What time will it go off? Doubtlessly, it will not happen during our lifetimes. Anyway, no one actually knows when it will explode. It may happen today or in one million years. Betelgeuse is approaching a mind-blowing finish cycle and could explode at any time in the next 100,000 years. But since it has radically diminished over the past few months, it has drawn a great deal of attention. Betelgeuse throbs, and it has done this before. Therefore, it isn't unexpected that it has reduced. Yet this particular blurring has gone out to be exceptional. Betelgeuse is one of the most brilliant stars overhead, shining at a magnitude of 0.69 and ranking 11th among the brightest stars. However, Latest estimates show that it has reduced to about magnitude 1.7, eliminating it from the main 21. Betelgeuse has subsequently become bizarrely faint. Its strange star blurring has been talked about in the media, with hypotheses proliferating that it could be an indication that the star is ready to detonate as a cosmic explosion. Most expert stargazers and astrophysicists, however, don't acknowledge this hypothesis and figure that the star will eventually return to business as usual. Since the current darkening is caused by other sources like a blast of gas or dust or variations in the brilliance of the star's surface. Hence, despite the fact that Betelgeuse is set to break down ultimately, 
Established researchers concur that not at any point in the near future would we see it. Let's speculate what might occur if Beetlejuice finally popped. What might we see and feel from here on Earth? In the years 106, 1054, and 1572, the three most brilliant cosmic explosions ever found in our skies initially showed up. Each of these stars was either as bright as Venus at its most brilliant or was comparable to it. They were all, however, countless light years apart. Betelgeuse, however, is simply 640 light years away. This means that if the star were to detonate suddenly, it would become incredibly bright, perhaps approaching the brilliance of the full moon, and produce distinct shadows even in the brilliance of the daytime sky. It would be easily evident in the following years where we once saw Betelgeuse. We could see a diffuse patch of weak light surrounding the truly seriously hot, recently uncovered center of the star, enveloped by a growing haze of vaporous debris. It would initially appear at this stunning brightness for two or three months. Then over the following two or three years, it would slowly fade from view. Assuming there were no other repercussions on our planet, that would be the extent of the blast. Generally, Betelgeuse is fortunate to be where it is relative to us and not nearer, say, than Capella, a very radiant yellowish star that crosses high above around midnight. The distance is just 43 light years. History, folklore, and popular culture of Betelgeuse show that Arabic is the language that led to the naming of many notable stars. This fact is illustrative of the transcendent position held by Arabic cosmologists and stargazers during Europe's Dark Ages. The term Betelgeuse comes from an Arabic expression that is usually rendered in English as the armpit of the giant. This expression is where the name Betelgeuse begins. Some researchers believe that Betelgeuse is intended to be viewed as a hand or even a shoulder. This is in contrast to the common understanding that the giant connects with Orion. Betelgeuse is the name of the star that appears upon the right shoulder of Orion on numerous older star charts. The meaning of the name is not completely understood. It isn't unexpected that most depictions of Betelgeuse have an anthropomorphic relationship since Orion is commonly associated with a giant, a hero, a hunter, a deity, or some other human or creature figure in ancient stories. Despite the fact that it was most probably the leg of a stag, the Sanskrit term for this design also alluded to it as an arm. For example, in some districts of Brazil, the constellation Betelgeuse was viewed as the front leg of a turtle or the back leg of a caiman, a type of crocodile. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, was thought to be a vital part of the circuit of the edge of a formal drum in ancient Japan. Betelgeuse represents a severed appendage of a man. In Orion, across the Americas, the Tupinamba of Brazil referred to the group of stars as Zakawai, a legend whose leg was cut away by his wife. With the varied brightness of Betelgeuse related to the removal, the Lakota people of North America saw it correspondingly as a chief with a cut-off arm. Balgu is referred to as the Damp One in Sanskrit, which is also the name of the Hindu astrological Ardra lunar house. The star was governed by the storm god Rudra, whose relationship with Orion's turbulent demeanor was made by 19th century cosmologist Richard Henley Allen. In Macedonian practice, the constellation represents trained creatures and farmland, representing the way of life in the towns. Betelgeuse, along with the rest of Orion, showed a furrow drawn by bulls and was known to them as Orak, the cultivator. In the pre-fall and late summer, the rising of Betelgeuse at around 3 a.m. flagged the ideal time for villagers to continue to the fields and furrow. For the Inuit, the start of spring and the stretching days in late February and early March were announced by Betelgeuse and another star rising high in the southern sky after nightfall. People from North Baffin Island and the Melville landmass specifically alluded to the two stars as those two put far apart, or those two set, because of their distance from each other. Ancient societies from one side of the planet to the other observed the contrasting positions of Orion and Scorpius, as well as the radiant red, variable stars Betelgeuse and Antares that connect to them. Orion's setting and Scorpius rising represent Orion's destruction due to the scorpion. They represent the contrasting and sibling Shin and Shang in Chinese culture. The first new moon following Orion's belt drops below the horizon, 
while Beetlejuice was still visible. The story of a chicken was seen by the Bach of Sumatra as the beginning of the new year. Beetlejuice and its arrangements at one or the other side of the heavenly circle were believed to be critical, and their constellations were interpreted as a couple of scorpions. Scorpion days were assigned as nights with visibility for the two constellations.